Okay, let's do this. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to the JS Core Dev Team Weekly Sync. It's March the 19th. It's 2019. You're here to give us an update on what you've been doing, what you're currently blocked on, and what you're going to be doing next this week. Uh, I'm putting the hackpad in the chat right now. So if you are here, please add your name to the attendees list. And if you want to share an update with us, then please write it down uh, in, the, in the space where other people have already filled in their updates. Uh, and if you are here from, and you're here from like a different working group or a different team, uh, then, and you'd like to share an update, uh, there's a section at the bottom of the document called cross team updates where you can share your wins. Uh, please, please feel free to um, fill that out and uh, provided we have time at the end, we will go through them and we'll talk about them. So that's super cool. Um, Jacob is back. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that means we already have a note taker because Jacob has already volunteered himself like the legend he is. Uh, rad. All right, so here we are. Let's get on with it. Um, it's recording, so we're all good. All right, so I'll start at the top. Weekly update. Uh, the first person, Fashko, is not here at the moment. He has been working on the B2B interop, uh, doing some reviewing for async await PRs. That's cool. Um, helping, helping debug the issues that we've been having with the DHT. Um, there's been some performance issues that we've noticed since we merged it, so it's being cleaned up. Uh, that's cool. He uh, is reviewing the gossip sub implementation. That's super rare. Uh, so hopefully that's on the way soon. Uh, he is he yeah, he's been working on the p 2 visualization tool. That sounds also very cool. Um, he's blocked on some things there, which you can have a look at. Next up, he is still visualization tooling uh, and the p 2 p interrupt testing. Cool. Okay, that's Vashko. Uh, you can't ask him questions, but you could do offline if you so wish. Um, next up is Jacob. Would you like to share with us your update? Um, so we've got an open PR that's good to merge. I just need to do some interop testing with Go. Um, this is for Switch to actually add known protocols for peers to the peer info object. We have a place for that. We're just not putting anything there. So once this is done, we will actually have record of who supports what. So if we are running a DHT, for instance, um, and we know that our peers are running DHTs, we can choose whether or not we actually want to dial to them based on what they support. So we don't have to just dial and then find out later, because that is wasteful. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll get to the interrupt for that this week um, and get that released. Uh, I've been working on the DHT performance issues with JSI PFS. Um, with that, we are introducing a basic dialing queue to the switch. Um, previously, the only queuing we did was dials in progress to a specific peer. This will queue them all up um, so that we're not spamming like a hundred dial request to a given peer um, when we start up. So that should help with performance. Just testing out this week, uh, fixed a couple issues with the stream muxers as a result of testing all of that. Um, I'm gonna be looking at some open pull requests for pull length prefix. Um, Vashko and I have been added to that repo to help uh, maintain it. So there are a couple outstanding issues with like empty pull streams that can cause issues. So I'll probably look at that this week. Um, and then noticed some logs in switch and circuit were being, strings were being formatted prior to like, and then inject it into the logging. And then when logging is not enabled, that's super wasteful because we're creating strings we don't need. Um, so correct some of those issues. So formatting will only actually happen when logging occurs. Um, this week, uh, yeah, working on the interop testing for the peer protocols, um, finished testing the dialing queue. I need to unblock uh, interop for the daemon. Um, lib p2p so that will be an update to the client to fix multi-adder stuff and then um, q1 retrospective and q2 planning that is it any questions fantastic thank you jacob uh, if there are no questions we'll move on um i am up next so here we go hold on to your seats uh i lowered so okay so we've been testing out the dht and uh, we found that actually the default 
the default connection manager limits for the DHT as it stands right now are a little bit high. Uh, so we've lowered them to, I think Go's limits are around 900 peers. Uh, so we've lowered them temporarily to around 600, which is kind of adequate for the sort of performance we have at the moment with LibTTP. So we'll, we'll raise them as, we, as, as it gets better, but um, that's just kind of lowered them to a more acceptable kind of reasonable limit for now. Uh, so they're just default, so you can change them. Um, but yeah, so I, uh, I, I made that pull request. Um, I made a fix for if you IPFS cat a file, like if you've got like a hash plus a path to a file, uh, it didn't work. So <laughs> that was bad. Um, if you had like a, a, a hash and then a file name, then that would work. But as soon as you uh, traversed into a, uh, a directory, um, it was not working. And that was, and I can't believe it hadn't been reported earlier, but it is now fixed, so that's good. Um, I've released last week the IBFS HTTP client version 30.1, because uh, we did a little, little extra in point one. Um, uh, and that actually reduces the bundle size since uh, we kind of started on bundle size stuff, um, which is, I think, version 28 point something. Um, and it's now like 33% or so smaller, which is just incredible. Um, and that's all thank you, thank you to uh, Hugo. Um, what else? Uh, oh yeah, so Alex has uh, has sent a PR for adding the DAG HTTP API, which um, I've reviewed. I think it's just pending uh, CI stuff now, so that should hopefully make it into 0.35. Um, and then I spent today fixing, oh, who knew? In some file systems, the precision for, like if you uh, stat a file, um, the precision for end time is uh, seconds, and that's what it originally was, but most file systems now uh, report a millisecond precision for end time. So um, yeah, weirdly in CI, in Mac OS, uh, the M time precision is in seconds, not milliseconds. So we, don't, we weren't seeing this locally or in other uh, environments on CI, just Mac OS. So that was a fun one to kind of track down and solve. But anyway, that's, that should hopefully be fixed now. Um, what's up? So next, next up, uh, I am uh, going to hopefully merge that DAG HTTP API PR. Uh, so this is all stuff for getting 0.35 out of the door, basically. I need to review that um, libp2p switch dialing queue um, PR that Jacob mentioned that I said I'd do a long time ago, but I didn't get around to it yet. Um, and uh, just some more testing with the DHT um, and then hopefully get on the release train and check all the examples run and check all of the tests for other projects are passing and you know, do all of the, the dancing that needs to happen for releasing a new version. Um, and then, yeah, if I still have time, then more work towards async iterators. I think I actually did some work this week towards CIDV1 base 32, uh, but I can't remember what, and I haven't listed it out, so you'll just have to take my word for it. Anyway, any questions? Okay. Right, all right. Let's move on then. Uh, next up is Hugo Mr. Diaz. Hey guys. So um, I've been working on, on the log file stuff. I did um, a pull requests to fix it, fix um, the log. Um, when the system is busy or the event loop is busy or else the system is sleeping or the event loop is busy, uh, then reviewed the fix from Alan about the seconds and milliseconds stuff. Uh, also added the Windows testing to a couple of uh, libpgp repos. Um, uh, oh, yeah, so view support research. Yeah, I also did um, a lot of research in that. And I will continue this week on that uh, boat too. Um, and everything else was related to bundle size. Uh, I'm really close to finish, finishing everything. The repo is done, the HTTP is done, JSIPFS is mostly done. I think I only need like uh, WebSocket Star Multi to be uh, merged and released. Uh, and probably some, te some tests are running out just to make sure everything um, works. But hopefully I'll finish this in time for the release. 
Um, I'm blocked on the async await from multi hashing async pull request. Uh, and I'll be working on this uh, view support and the async iterators. I also would like to um, get some feedback from you guys because as I went back to the JS IBFS bundle size pull requests, uh, I noticed at least two or three uh, dependency repos were like already with problems that I fixed the first time I went through everything. So we really need to make, to find a way to um, make sure we keep our bundle size small. Uh, but it's not easy because it require, uh, requires that the maintainers um, be more caref careful reviewing pull requests. Uh, we can try to make some of some rules, some leading rules, but it's not really easy. Um, we have um, on Azure the, um, the analyze uh, option on the build command that should help a lot to make sure um, nothing like out of the ordinary gets in the bundle. Uh, and also some of, at least some of the big repos will have the bundle size check that will also make it make more, make it more visible that a pull request either reduces or increases the bundle size. Uh, but yeah, if anyone has uh, some ideas how to improve this, I'll probably make some guidelines, find a way, find some place to write it down so everyone can like read it. And every time you need to like go back to that stuff, you at least have a, uh, a place where you can look in, into some of the some of the best practice and some guidelines. But yeah, if you have any feedback about this, please send me those ideas. Yeah, that's all. Anyone has any questions for me? No, oh, cool. Okay, thank you, Hugo. Uh, all right. Um, Next up is, okay, Zane is not here, uh, but he has been working on async await refactoring uh, and he is going to be addressing pull request comments. Next up is Volko, would you like to share with us your update? Yes. <clears throat> hey, Jay, Chris. <laughs> um, so my um, update is, so I've spent the week on the Foscus conference, so I haven't done that much. But I dare to put the new LP IPLD changes into my blog section because I really love to get this merged soon. So Eleven would be great if you have time soon so it doesn't slip into another week. Um, that would be great. Um, so the, the short version is I've now added the, so the, I hope that everyone agrees now is that we now have methods for getting single items and methods for getting multiple items for all operations, so we have put, put many, get, get many, and remove, remove many. And this hopefully Ship solves. Ship it, ship it, <laughs> ship it. Yeah, so if I get approval, I will merge it, and then, yeah, we can bubble it up to all the dependencies. I have PRs almost ready for all the dependencies that we care about, and then, yeah. Hopefully it happens this week. Um, yeah, that's all I have. Okay, thank you, Volga. Any questions? Uh, I I don't really have a question, but I just I wanted to say I haven't. Um, I, I've just been focusing on um, zero thirty five for the the significant time period that I haven't been able to circle back to looking into into that. But I'm aware there's a whole bunch of comments and bike shedding that have been going on. But like, I would recommend you. If, if you're happy with it, then you should ship it and um, and we can change it afterwards. It's just another version number, another breaking change. Um, hopefully it's it's close to what, what we want um, and, and we might not get it right the first time. So um, it, it, yeah, that's all, all I can say. All right, um, next up then is Alex. Would you like to share with us your update please? 
Hi. So, uh, yeah, so I merged a whole bunch of stuff, fixed some bugs. Uh, there was this problem with creating or ed like updating deep uh, subshards of HAMP shards. Uh, that is fixed and shipped. Uh, Al did some PRs for getting the UnixFS exporter to export CID objects uh, instead of string hashes. That is shipped, uh, which is great because like the amount of times that we switch between a string, a buffer, a CID object, to a string, to a buffer, to a CID object, it is mind blowing in, in our code base. So uh, yeah, hopefully that shouldn't happen as much now. Um, yeah, so as Al said, doing the DAG API, uh, exposing that to uh, over HTTP from JSIPFS, uh, which is cool because it will get us that much further along to, you know, feature parity. So that should hopefully get to be merged like in the next day or two. Um, there was a problem with Go uh, Go IPFS problem, but they fixed a problem uh, where the, when you do a, an LS of a hash, all the file sizes that came back included the protobuf uh, wrapper, which is of use to no one. Uh, unless you're really interested in how IPFS stores files. Um, so it was changed to reflect the actual files, size of the file that you've imported. Um, so yeah, it was bringing JS IPFS in line with that. So that's done and shipped. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, Andrew Nesbitt was over last week for a few days and we worked together on uh, uh, you know, working out the asks for the other uh, working groups for um, package managers. Um, so I'm going to finish writing that up, uh, get those uh, you know, outstanding PRs merged, uh, and that will be me probably. Any questions? Wonderful. Awesome, thank you, Alex. Aside from getting those that fix that the file sizes and the DAG HTTP API, there is one error in CI that needs to be fixed, and then I think we're pretty much ready to ship uh, zero thirty-five barring a little bit of testing. So um, yeah, getting getting really close, <laughs> really excited. All right, next up is, no, there's no one else, we're up, we're done. Um, cross team updates, hey, okay, do we have time? Yes, we've got 10 minutes, uh, awesome. So uh, first up we have Terry, would you like to share your update? Yes, so this is a repeat, but in case anybody wasn't on last week, just a heads up that I am working on a roadmap for Proto School, which will be, in theory, a top level project as of next quarter. And my roadmap depends on your roadmap because I want to make sure we have the right tutorial content for IPFS. So I have included a link there to an issue specifically about what IPFS content you'd like to see in Proto School. So if you have any ideas, please drop them there. This is how we're going to go down the right path. And it's also how we're going to make sure that Proto School is staffed the way it needs to be to build the content that we want. Thanks. I'm muted. I pressed the button, but it didn't unmute. Uh, you have to believe me on that. Uh, thank you, Terry. Um, does anyone have any questions? Oh, so if I look at the screen, cool. Okay, no questions for Terry. Thank you. Uh, Ollie's here. Would you like to share with us a GUI update? Hello. We uh, we released some stuff. Uh, that's some bad code that you don't need to see. Uh, that's a thing. Install IPFS desktop now because it's called 0.71, which is an increment on from any previous one you could have possibly installed. Uh, and it looks great, and it does all the things you might want. Uh, and if you install it, you might want to enable some analytics so that I can see you using it in a respectful and privacy-preserving way. That is all. Thank you. Thank you, Oli. Uh, any questions for Oli? You better go and install it. I'll know if you haven't. You got the analytics working then. Uh, so it's not really respecting privacy. That's respectful enough for you, old man. You'll only know, presumably, if we check the checkbox. That was the joke, Alan. No. <laughs> uh, all right. All right, fun times. Now, uh, Lido, you're next up. Uh, yeah, just a quick heads up that uh, a revo rework main menu of uh, IPFS Companion landed in the beta channel, uh, along with other stuff. But basically, uh, 
I don't think I mentioned the previous beta. So basically, if you install the latest beta, you can also like test all those small tweaks. Uh, yep. So just uh, would love if anyone tested it and reported back. Uh, there's a link uh, in the release notes when you can uh, provide feedback about uh, the visual part. Just mm, let's say on Mac or on Windows specifically if you see any uh, visual artifacts or stuff like that, because it's like, in past it was hard to uh, make it right, look right on every platform. And that's all. Thank you, Lido. That's very cool. Any questions for Lido quickly? All right, last but not least, we have Jim Pick. Um, Hi, what have you been doing? I called through the weekend and I put together um, a new pinner for PeerPad which means I'll be able to launch like PurePad, like the new code into production because we're going to be able to guarantee that the data that you put in there will be saved and pinned to IPFS cluster. So there's lots of black magic behind there. So I'm going to try to document it and uh, maybe make a little presentation for it. So. That's very cool. I was on a call earlier in the week and uh, we used PurePad and it, it worked way better than it did a long time ago when we tried it for this call. So um, if it's going to be shipped and live and awesome again, then we should give it another go and, uh, and dog food it on this call as well. Yeah, it's definitely needs a bit more testing, but uh, the fact that it doesn't lose the data or keeps the data forever is, will be good. Assuming the IPFS cluster stays around forever. So. Cool. Um, all right. So the only other notes is I'm I'm not in tomorrow, and the IPLD biweekly meeting has moved three out three hours later to nine thirty to ten UTC. Cool. Um, just a final note to say hello and welcome to anyone who hasn't been on this call before. If you'd like to say anything now, then please go ahead. Otherwise, Chris is uh, hey. <laughs> Chris Anderson, um, I'm, uh, I got my first pull request into uh, the multi-address project a couple weeks ago. Thanks, Jacob. Um. Excellent job. And just a quick note about that IPLD meeting change. It's, we, we wanted to accommodate uh, Rod Bag, who's in Australia. That's why it moved to later. So <laughs> it's the only time where everybody is awake. <laughs> Nice. And Rod Vag is now working on IPLD things. So that is why that is interesting. <laughs> cool. Uh, all right. Anyone else for any more? I've never seen up in this call before, I think. But hi. Hi. Nice to have you. All right. If we're all done, it's been lovely to see all your faces again. And uh, I can't wait to see you next week uh, for another exciting round of what I did last week, what I'm going to do this week. Uh, and other than that, all I have to say is bye. <laughs> <laughs>